Hello, I'm in the engineering department today and I want to talk with you about one of the most exciting, maybe the most exciting product launch in SVS history are 16 Ultra subwoofers. And before I start talking about those subwoofers, I, I think I want to talk about a question I've been asked constantly up until the time that we actually announced these subwoofers, which is why hasn't SVS done a subwoofer based on larger drivers, 15 inch drivers, 18 inch drivers. The other subwoofer companies all do it. And the reality is that we have looked at those for years and years. And um, although it, the potential to move the necessary air to create extreme low frequencies is higher with a large driver, such as 15 or 18 inch, we've never seen a 15 or 18 inch driver that is capable of doing that and still delivering the, the low frequencies and the high output with minimal frequency response uh, distortion and minimal uh, issues with speed and transients. This is a hugely important issue for SVS. SVS subwoofers deliver extreme low frequencies. They do it at whatever output the user wants, but they never sacrifice accuracy and frequency response and speed and transients. We don't like our subwoofers to be boomy or inaccurate because after all, a subwoofer needs to create a convincing immersive experience. It needs to be a part of the total experience, not detract from the experience, even if it is creating awesome bass. So what is the reason why these larger driver based subwoofers are less accurate? Well, one of the culprits for sure is this. This is a two inch voice coil. Now imagine a two or three inch voice coil controlling a driver of a size such as 15 or 18 inches. The issues, uh, well, first of all, you have a 15 or 18 inch driver, it can deliver extreme low frequencies as long as it's married to a, 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 a capable motor. But when you have a voice coil of this size controlling a driver of that size, you have the potential for flex, frequency response inaccuracies, boominess, all the things you don't expect from a great subwoofer, especially not from an SVS subwoofer. So several years ago, our team rolled up their sleeves and said, we're going to throw out all our preconceptions about how conventional drivers should be designed. We're going to come up with something new and groundbreaking in order to execute on large driver based subwoofers. And they came up with something which I still am marveling at. I've known about it for more than two years and I still think it's amazing. This is that to our knowledge, the industry's first ever eight inch edge wound voice coil. Now the advantage of this is that since the diameter of the voice coil is so close to the diameter of the 16 inch driver, we have the ability to have accurate, precise control of the driver. While we are absolutely planning to deliver on extreme low frequencies and do it at very, very high output. We're going to do that with precise control so we have accuracy and frequency response. And again, precise control so that we have pinpoint speed in our transient response. And that's going to create the potential for a convincing experience. That's what SVS subwoofers do. Marrying that 8-inch voice coil to a massive motor, so massive that I can't even pick it up or barely pick it up. The driver, the motor itself is in the neighborhood of 50 pounds, so the motor itself weighs more than most entire subwoofers. This creates the potential of just gobs and gobs of low frequencies, but never doing it in a way that is sacrificing the accuracy of the subwoofer, the speed as it keeps up with the content, we're totally faithful to the content all the way through. This phenomenal 16 Ultra driver, as, as awesome as it is, is really still only a possibility. A driver is a possibility, it's a potential. It needs to be married to an amplifier that can deliver on that potential. And so at the same time as driver development began, we began development on an all new amplifier platform. And, and it's in its own way, this is just as exciting and groundbreaking for us. It's a complete departure from previous amplifiers. This is our ST1500 amplifier. It is 1,500 watts of conservatively rated continuous power, more than 5,000 watts of peak power. So we think one of the most powerful amplifiers ever put in a consumer subwoofer. But one of the really cool things about it is not really in those specs, but in the fact that it's a, it is a efficient 
Class D digital design. However, the output is a fully discrete MOSFET output. What that means is that it's capable of tons of real-world current in order to deliver on the potential of this driver. This driver is a very current-hungry beast and needs an amplifier that can create that amount, the amount of current to make what's possible in it a reality. This amplifier is absolutely equal to the task. We marry this amplifier with Analog Devices DSP. Very sophisticated DSP, for, especially for a subwoofer. You would normally expect to find this level of sophistication in DSP in a home theater processor or similar type of device. And we, we've put it in a subwoofer because if you're going to make adjustments in the digital domain, you don't want to detract from the accuracy of the, of the subwoofer. But one of the really cool innovations that we like to talk about, and it's gotten a lot of fuss, is to our knowledge, the industry's first subwoofer control app. Control all functions of the DSP via smartphone app, Android, or iOS, and allows you to do everything from the seat of honor, every kind of adjustment in the DSP, including just making simple things like turning the display on and off and selecting the preset that you want to use for the home theater. For, we've, we've programmed in a couple of presets, music, movies, you can do your own custom preset. So lots of cool functionality in this, in this app. And because it's Bluetooth connected and bi-directional, you don't need to see the subwoofer. The subwoofer actually can be behind a sofa or hidden in some other way. The connection doesn't need to be line of sight. If you make an adjustment via the front panel, the app will know about it and vice versa. So the app is always telling you exactly what's going on with the subwoofer. Really, really cool. And this results in two amazing new subwoofers. Our SB16 Ultra sealed box subwoofer and our PB16 Ultra ported box subwoofer. We're really proud of them. They've already won some incredible awards. They won Best of Innovations CES Design and Innovations Award, meaning the best high performance audio video product at CES in 2017. They won Product of the Year from Audioholics, and they won Top Pick of the Year from Sound and Vision Magazine. Extremely proud of these new subwoofers. Check them out yourself on svsound.com. Thanks.